Please leave a message after the tone. You've got seven questions due. Your life is going down the tubes. What do you do? Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> to another episode of Nude Clan After Dark. I'm your host, Caleb. I'm your delayed host, Joe. I'm A4. And uh, as you can tell, this is not a review of Halo Grappling It like we promised. Because uh, Zach's home country what? is grappling his ass right back down. We reviewed Halo Grappling It last week yeah i know i'm kidding i just haven't released the yeah. episode and so it hasn't happened yet yeah so i'm trying to release the fucking episode but there's some malfunction here that like it, it it pulls it'll like pretend that it's pulling the file then it'll pull the file and it'll be like eight minutes long and then i have to disconnect rub its little belly and then like plug it back in and then it's like oh it's a two-hour file but there's only 30 minutes of audio in it. and i'm like oh my god it's been doing this. I don't know what it is lately, but it's like the last three or four times, every time it's doing that. Um, so I have to like fight with it and like just be in a room of silence and like it can't move. I just have to sit and wait for the file transfer to take place. If I look yeah, at even it wrong, the sa- Even the sound vibrations that you cause will like cause whatever hardware failure is causing that to like transfer incorrectly. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, we weren't supposed to do grappling it. Obviously, we were supposed to do Resident Evil. What is it? Afterlife? What the fuck Afterlife. is the name? Of it? Okay, there's too many names to the Resident Evil I movies. Don't know. Well, and like the second one's called Apocalypse. It's like that should be like almost the last one, right? I would yeah, think. I mean, at least the last one's called Final Chapter. So that's yeah. nice. And if it were a Kingdom Hearts game, it would be Final Chapter Pro uh, or. Final chapter before, Final chapter the, before the end is, is the next one. Before yeah. the end, after the beginning, recluse of of memory. Uh, yeah, but then can't wait till I were... uh, can't wait till uh, afterlife epilogue part two. Yeah, a squared can't plus wait. b squared equals c squared. Or like uh, the uh, you get that one and you're like, oh, I got them all, and it's like, no, there's one called all in one. That's actually all of them, but you bought the one. That's almost so. You bought the story so far. The story so far implies that it's not <laughs> yeah. over yet. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna end it right now. Well, you know what the best part about the, the all for one thing is like the the king. I might have said this on the show already, but the the Kingdom Hearts series as we know it right now is only at the end of like its first arc. Apparently, it's like the Dark Seeker saga. They apparently want to make more games after that. I mean, they're making Kingdom Hearts four, so I guess that's. <laughs> um. But yeah. I for, I literally forgot Kingdom Hearts Four was already announced. Look, uh, but you, all, as long as they give me a Song of the South level, I'll play Kingdom Hearts Four. Could you fucking imagine? I mean, <laughs> yeah. ship has sailed on that one. By the way, I think they're getting rid of Splash Mountain, right? Yeah, they they well, they're getting rid of the theme of it. They're not going to get rid of the mountain. I can't remember who they're going to go with, but it's probably just going to be Frozen again or fucking Moana or some stupid horse shit. And Moana would at least make sense. That's one thing that annoys me about Disney, though. They're like, oh, well, this is a new ride. And it's like, oh, yeah, it's new. You just, like, repurposed it for a newer movie. And it's yeah, like, and the movie's just... Inside Out, which I'm not going to watch that. <laughs> Inside Out's okay. Inside Out is like the Margot Robbie of Pixar movies. It's very mid. Yeah. Uh, but um, Now, if she were an yeah, Oppenheimer no, they... instead of Barbie... I'd be a happy man. Although I've already seen not her naked before, so I, I guess I could just go back and watch Wolf of Wall Street to not see Margot Robbie naked. What if you get to see Cillian Murphy naked in uh, Oppenheimer? Well, you, you see somebody. You basically see him naked in Oppenheimer. Ooh, yeah. I'm buying tickets tonight. Uh, 
enjoy the three yeah. hour movie. And you get to see Florence Pugh like grind on him <laughs> in an office room. Mm. I'm not kidding. That's such I a weird you. name, like Florence Pugh. <laughs> It's like uh, it's like a French man getting like wha- getting his sack whacked a little bit. Like what's her? What's her? Just, what's like, her? Give it a little tap. He's like, Pray. oh, Florence, what's her, what's her, Pray. Pray. Can you tell us about weird. Wait, wait, wait! wait. Do you tell us about weird last names, Caleb Schweiz? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That sounds like harsh and like brutal. But Pierre is like Pierre. Florence these, these Pugh. Are people stink. Pierre. Florence, Florence Pugh. What's her fucking? What's her cousin's <laughs> name? Margaret Yuch. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's like it's like the name of like a British? woman from like it's the name of a, of a <laughs> yeah. woman from like the '30s, and then like a sound of disgust. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Margaret Mildred. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Margot Robbie's hot though. I I do think that she is a little overrated. Like now that I've gotten older, I'm like, eh, she's pretty hot, but. Oh yeah, it's not because I don't a, find her hot. It's because anymore. A she's a nine point five. Yeah, oh, she's I'm falling, sorry. You know. Now, <laughs> if she really wants to revitalize, so as you get uglier, she gets uglier. Yeah. Well, no, no, she's uh, just getting uh, uglier. Is okay. all. That's all I'm saying. I can't. Oh, speak yeah, yeah. Me. You're just staying there. Yeah, you're yeah. You're just staying at a good two point oh. I'm. I'm. And then I, she I'm staying at my is peak. Falling from being at a ten in Wolf of Wall Street. To, oh my god, she might be 35 now. 9.5. Look, she's just I also, a little barren. I don't know. She's getting old, you know. Have you Every looked at I... other fucking women in their 30s? No, it's just too From old. From the United States, especially. <laughs> don't even get me started, oh. Choice. I don't want to look at women in their 20s. God. They're yeah. breaking... They're not breaking... <laughs> if they're over oh. one digit, I am not interested <laughs> whatsoever. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, the thing that I think I think the reason that Margot Robbie is so mid to me is because I fucking I every time I see her as Harley Quinn, I get like violently angry. Her Harley Quinn depiction is so annoying to me because it is just like Grading. the stereotype. Yeah, well, that and it's just like it's like you did this for Spirit Halloween. You didn't know you were doing it for Spirit Halloween, but you're doing this for Spirit Halloween. Like. Yeah, what I the mean, fuck is Spirit Halloween. What the fuck is that? It's a Halloween it's the, store. It's the Halloween store that comes around every year. Like they literally, like her version of Harley Quinn just exists so that oh. like girls can cosplay her and do Halloween costumes. Yeah, as girls well. can dress. That's up all as it is. Whores on Halloween. Like I'm not. I'm not kidding. I. I I know it's going to sound like I'm a hipster and it's like, oh, the 90s were better, but like I legitimately miss the red and black. No, jumpsuit. you, you, no. I would rather no, have the red and black no jumpsuit than no one here would fucking... dare call you a hipster. Look, I admit Never. that I'm a hipster. I'm just saying I I you... much prefer okay, Harley I'll Quinn. I'll allow you to, to be a hipster the fucking... for a few seconds now. I prefer Harley Quinn to have the jumpsuit with the thing with the bells rather than looking like she just crawled out of the fucking hot topic dumpster. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Like someone tossed her in there and she just like got tangled up and then yeah. emerged. Yeah, those aren't even <laughs> fishnets on. You would rather That's just like I don't know. I mean, I think those movies. You'd rather suck. have her look like a fucking trading card or a playing yes. card from yeah, because it looks. Oh, better. okay. <laughs> All right. It does not look. It better. looks like. A, yeah, it does. It looks like an actual okay. character. I as want you to, to like... imagine. Imagine for a second that you never heard of Harley Quinn and you walk down the street, and one person looked like Margot Robbie from the movie. Sure, hot topic, super slutty. Mid. Hot as fuck. On one side, yeah, mid, whatever. My fuck, <laughs> fuck yeah. you. And then on the other side, you get a fucking freak show who looks like a fucking jester in fucking 2017. What the fuck? Better, better. Are you fucking yeah. stupid? It's so like if the I was person walking, who so... thinks that Green Goblin would look better with a fucking sock on his head. Yes. Are you stupid? <laughs> yeah. No, I like I like cool designs. And the, the design that Margot <laughs> yeah, Robbie had. Cool. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if so I was cool. Walking... <laughs> yeah. The guy in his fucking underwear with a fucking <laughs> sock on his head. That's super cool. Yeah. You're arguing about fucking grown men who dress up anyway. in spandex and fight dudes named like Calendar Man and stuff. Of course it's, yeah. of course it's lame. <laughs> I no, yeah, like, don't I, worry. Just saying, no. I think that's also really fucking stupid. Yeah. Don't worry. I think all fucking superhero movies are 
stupid. <laughs> this year, I get 366 days themselves. to torment the world. Anyway, what I was going to say was, if I was walking down the street and I saw both of those Harley Quinns, I would point to the one in the gesture outfit and go like, that looks like a character from a comic book. And then no. I would point to, Mar- point to Margot Robbie. No, no, no. And, point- and then I would point to the Margot we Robbie one. We saw this in a movie. I would point to the Margot Robbie one and I would be oh, like, wow, she looks pretty hot in that outfit. Good thing she's not a character in a movie. Otherwise, that would be really lame. <laughs> no, dude. We already saw this in a movie. We, we watched Street Fighter. The fucking Legend of Chun-Li or whatever the fuck it was called. Okay? Okay. And we saw one character that looked like the source material. And he looked insane! He looked I don't fucking remember. insane! I legitimately Who don't remember. Who the fuck would look like that? It was, the, I... it was the old guy with the fucking spiky hair. Although, he looked you... absolutely You mean Hihachi so. from Tekken? Who do you remember, though? From the movie yes! that you... Oh, I'm sorry. Named. Tekken. Tekken, whatever. It was Hihachi from Tekken. Yes. It is Tekken. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. And honestly, he was my favorite design in the movie because he looked like he was supposed to from the video. What like, the yes, fuck is wrong with looks, you? Yes, it looks silly, but it's like, again, like, I think I said it during the Tekken review, but like, Tekken was from that era of movies where like, you'd have a guy walk out in like a biker jacket and like a, like a bunch of normal clothes and he'd be like, my name is Pac-Man. And then like, that's the movie. Like, yeah, I kind of want them to look a little silly. I'm sorry. Yeah, Pac-Man, he's got to be like a, he's got to be like, a gay orgy like aficionado like i'm gonna pack that let me fudge. let me chop those balls yeah i'm gonna pack that fudge i'm gonna eat that ass out <laughs> fucking pac-man he's packing himself and all the men yeah little fucking yeah, because miss, miss that's why miss pat that's why they didn't work out because he's a freaking did mega did uh packer <laughs> Did did the did the Sonic redesign from the movie look like it didn't belong in the world that he was inhabiting in that movie? Yes. Did it look infinitely better than the original design? Also, yes. Yeah. I'm just saying. The original one was weird, but like, the, and this is the, we're going beyond whatever. Like the, the reason I like the original Harley Quinn is because it looks like an actual character. Like Margot Robbie's Harley Quinn could be literally any girl that got molested by their dad. So it's just like I don't really understand how that's an improvement. It it barely looks like a character. I could see that chick going to like any fucking blood on the dance floor concert at like in America. Yeah, I don't know. I mean I guess, but I, I, I think the design right, of yeah. the original one is still. It certainly stupid, makes sense but... for her to look like a fucking jester. Her fucking <laughs> boss is named the Joker. He's named after a trading he's named after a playing card. He's literally Oh, a don't white worry. Faced... I Harley think the Quinn Joker man. is also really stupid. Don't worry. <laughs> so no, I, don't uh, know about, I don't know about that. Don't worry. For every fucking, for every fucking dude who has never seen a serious movie in his life, who had their eyes opened up by the mediocre movie called The Joker, because heaven forbid, it kind of resembles a serious movie from the 1970s made for adults. But don't worry, we have to put in a dumb fucking character from a kid's comic book in it. Don't that's the way we're going to sell it to you because you're a fucking idiot. That's what we're going to do. Don't worry, it's there. The dumbness has to be there. The stupid part has to be in the movie in order to sell it. Yeah, that's true. The movie, like... the movie anyway. probably would have been better if it wasn't like joker i mean let joker. okay let's be real that is barely a comic book movie no it really like, is. that movie's already yeah. been made it's it called a comic taxi book movie driver in name only. <laughs> it, it i know really it's, is i know taxi it's, ta- driver, it's taxi right? driver and king of comedy i know all the fuck i know it it's not a comic book movie it's called joker but it is really not a comic book movie but it was kind of good for that reason though i liked it well but... yeah i loved joker i thought it was great but i, don't I, know know I thought I'd it was gonna it be was better <laughs> Well, I mean, um, it wasn't better than the Batman trilogy from Christopher Nolan, though. So, it's like, I mean, it also it wasn't better than the movies it was trying to be. Well, yeah, obviously. Also, I I missed my chance after Joe did that long rant, but like, were you super jazzed to see Barbie like last week? Yeah, I fucking loved Barbie. Loved it. <laughs> it's great. Is it? You're, you're bringing a lot of you're bringing a lot of negative energy to this uh, podcast today, Joe. Yeah. <laughs> No, uh, Ken. I no, mean, my favorite. My... He did say he did say he was delayed earlier, and Ken <sighs> from the new movie does look like he's fucking retarded. So, 
Well, he's Ryan Gosling. Um, yeah, no, well, but no, uh, he just looks surprised all the time. Like, oh, oh, <laughs> yeah, it's Ryan, it's Ryan Gosling. Oh, oh. dude, it's like he's just on tits for the first time every time he opens his eyes. Oh my god, that that character is one of the funniest characters I've seen. Every in clip I've seen of Ken is legitimately great. I'm like laughing my ass. Yeah, off. Are you sure it's not like the Ghostbusters remake with what's his face? <laughs> With oh, Thor, fucking, um, with Thor, so he's, yeah. he's, he's a... beach. <laughs> he is beach Ken. And so like all he knows how to do in this like weird Barbie world that he's in is just, he just calls it beach. I just know how to beach. I'm not a lifeguard. I'm not anything else. So when he gets into the real world, he like goes up to a lifeguard. He's like, Hey, I want a job. And he's like, Oh, you want to be a lifeguard? He's like, no, I just like beach. Beach is what I would like. Like, I've, I've been quoting this fucking movie since I've been saying it. Um, mostly from the Ken shit. There's a part where, like, he he looks into the world of, this is what, like, dumb dudes have been saying about the movie, is that it's like, airtime man, because they're super sensitive right now. And uh, <clears throat> there's a part where, like, Ken sees, like, the op- like, he goes into this world, like, the real world. And the real world is, like, run mostly by men. So he's like looking around at all these things and he comes from the Barbie world, which is polar opposite, right? And then he's like freaking out about men and horses. He's like, I used to think, I used to think horses and men world, ruled the world together, but now I realize that horses are just an extension of men. And uh, like lines like that, dude, I was fucking rolling. And, uh, and then, yeah, he gets back and all the dudes, he's, he's convincing all the Kens to like take over the world in the Barbie yeah. world. Yeah. And he's like, and there's, there's so many things that Ken does in this like montage or all the Kens do in this montage that I have done myself. And I was sitting there with my girlfriend. I have straight up said lines from this movie. And the movie was like pointing at me. There was a dude who like freaks out when he finds out the girl hadn't seen the Godfather. He's like, you haven't seen the Godfather. <laughs> and then he like gives her like a diatribe about why the Godfather is like the most amazing movie ever. And then there's another part where he's like, all these dudes, they're like, I'm going to sing guitar. At you. I'm going to play guitar at you. Like they don't, like, excuse me, I'm going to play guitar at you. Do you mind if I stare uncomfortably into your eyes for four minutes while I play this song? And uh, I don't know, dude, the, the, like the, sh- the shit that people are getting offended about are the stuff that made me laugh the hardest. No, I mean, I like was fucking dying. Th- there was a clip going around that I saw where it was like a bunch of like, I guess, high school girls talking about Barbie, but they were like using all the big buzzwords like, oh, we were doing great until you came and set feminism back like 50 years. But they're using like all the big buzzwords. And I'm just sitting there going like, even out of context, I'm pretty sure this is meant to be mostly satirical. Like they're clearly the kinds of well the movie that... is it's not a one-sided thing it's an exploration it, well, it's definitely yeah. like it's not it's a movie that's more than skin deep so it's like because there's barbie she comes out and like she is like the epitome of like what makes women feel bad and that that they do talk about it in the movie and then she's like well i'm not trying to make you feel bad i'm just trying to be like a, basically a toy no i know that's the and, scene like, that's the scene you i call saw her a fascist and... she's like i'm yeah. not a fascist and yeah that's the scene i saw cry. and like all she's the like, all the dudes on twitter are getting mad about it and i'm just like i'm pretty sure this is meant to be satirical like i i understand these are the big buzzwords way... that everyone says but like even as a guy who has way seen this movie, I'm like, smarter I'm pretty sure this than is people meant are to giving be... it credit for i'm pretty sure this is meant to be a dig at the kind of people who make who like who tear down barbie for this exact reason like partially i'm sure there's a it's, nugget it, of truth it takes, in there it's but... like all it takes like all sides mm. on the issue and it explores it i actually thought it was like a really in terms of a movie that's like pretty heavy-handed in like what it's talking about and its themes like i thought that it was actually like there were a lot of things to think about there were and it was multi-layered and it was like it was talking about things not just from one side. It wasn't saying, like, this one thing is, is good about women and this one thing is evil about men. It was actually, like, exploring the issue from, like, multiple characters and stuff like that. It's a but really Joe, smart movie. And yeah, Ben Shapiro said it was woke. Whatever. <laughs> ben Shapiro's a fucking idiot. He's a fucking idiot when it comes to movies. The guy but Joe, failed if I can't trust Ben Shapiro, who can I trust? He can go fuck himself. Joe, if I can't trust <laughs> if I can't trust the most diminutive Jewish man with the with the sister with the hugest tits on planet Earth, who can I trust? It's woke. Yeah, 
I I would not call. Let's say hypothetically, that movie, that, yeah, uh, it's feminist, I'm a Barbie girl and I'm I living in a Barbie world. Woke. Now, would you also say, following that, that uh, I am wrapped in plastic and that it is fantastic? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I'll, if Alex wants to watch it, I'll go. Watch I think it. there's a difference to me oh, between okay. woke and feminism. Yeah, they're both garbage. Uh, yeah, <laughs> they're like different kinds of garbage. There's a, like, there's a certain feminism, type of feminism is clearly recyclable. Yeah, because, feminism. Like, they keep bringing it back. Like they keep bringing it back every ago. twenty years. When they like wanted to vote, yeah, that's like the kind I'm into. It's like, well, I guess you can vote. And that's where it ends. <laughs> like the the Schweiss, the Schweiss world is like what yeah. the the world. Yeah, the world ended when the Nineteenth Amendment got passed. Yeah, like I guess you can vote, but it's just been a slow decline. Don't since get then. crazy. Yeah, that were I love doing that at, uh, to people in like my life. Probably shouldn't at work because I'm the boss, but I'd be like, they'll there's like women will like be. Well, hold on, I've got. People will get uppity with me, like the women at work sometimes, and I'll be like, oh, man, we give you the right to vote, and then this is the fucking thanks we get. We allow you. Men allow you to vote, and then now, 100 years, 150 years later, you're bossing me around, and I'm your fucking boss? Too much. Like the if you the give a, If you give a woman okay. the right to vote, next she'll want to chop off your penis. Yeah. Next, she'll think she can. She can. I don't know. I, I was. I she can drive. Yeah, drive. <laughs> Clearly, <laughs> you can't. I'm kidding. What, what, what were you going off on, Joe? What was a uh, somebody comment? Somebody commented. Oh, Dead something? Islanders in the comments, oh, adding oh, words yeah. to my arguments that I, that don't exist again. Adding words to your argument. Uh, did he say like that saying, you're gay? If your qualifier, hold on, hold on. If your qualifier for who can critique a movie is they have to be a journalist is ridiculous. Did I fucking say that? Do I ever respect journalism? No, that you shouldn't. Ever I mean, came out of my mouth. Look, if you fail, <laughs> or do I, I have a problem with political commentators being movie critics? I yeah. have a problem with movie critics being movie critics. Yeah, that's the true. only people I listen to are other filmmakers. Frankly, at this point. Yeah, I mean, I, I it really, it is true, and even like. Even Jordan Peterson goes a little hard. Like, yeah, Frozen's not the best movie. It, but no, it's not like the worst either. Too. No, it's pretty bad. That movie was maybe like the worst modern Disney movie until Encanto came it's along and said, movie. "Oh man, you what? You think that Frozen barely has a plot and is only popular because of one song? Hold my fucking cerveza." Yeah, I don't know. I I don't think it's that bad. I mean, I I see where he's coming from. But I'm like at the same time I'm like ah I feel like you read more into this than 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 there is there to he read. He's reading it. way too much into it. Now way the old stories, yeah, it. those ones you can read a lot into like, because they had value and depth. Frozen doesn't have depth, not really. It's all right there. Everything that the movie's about is you watch it once, you know what the movie's about. You don't have to like yeah. deep dive like, oh, what does it mean? Yeah. Like, we know what it means. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, and maybe that's yeah, why we, he doesn't like it, though. Maybe that's Dead why. Island, Dead Islander, you were patently wrong. What did he say? You, you Sorry gotta, about you gotta, that delay. You, you got to say, Islander, you remember? You were patently oh, oh. wrong when I said, you said he's not a journalist. But I said he was a journalist. Yeah, I he said is. he was a failed film school student, and he decided to go into journalism. He's a political pundit. He's good at what he does. Because he's a but... hack. Because all journalisms are hack. Anyway, Wilson. the Barbie movie he's seems... A, he's not a <sighs> film guy. The Barbie movie seems pretty gay. I'm going to wait for the Hot Wheels movie, personally. But uh, until then... You know. Yeah, I need male toys. <laughs> you know, toys for boys. Yeah, well, call me when the fucking Stretch Armstrong movie's coming out. Until then, you know, I'm going to go see Haunted Mansion. <laughs> yeah, or like the uh, Stars for Your Wall movie. I was really into That's, those for a How's that time. a boy's toy? I think I everyone mean, I had just, those. You know, I, I don't know. I had them, and I was the boy. I don't know. So did I, but I also shared a room with my sister, so we, we yeah. both had the stars. Well, or like, the I guess I got my dinosaur movie when I was really little, and they've been <laughs> ruining them ever since, pretty much. <laughs> oh, man, I'm fucking so. jealous. My sister, my sister got to see that. Jurassic Park, Park 3? Yeah, Jurassic Park 2, even. Fuck. My, well, yeah, that was. Who not knew two sister, would be the the top third, the top half of the quality films? I, I'm 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 fucking jealous. My sister got to go see Jurassic Park in concert, like while they played the score over the movie. Oh, that's awesome! Oh yeah. man, 
That's way cool. That's oh, that's sick. That oh man, that's fucked up. <laughs> That would have been so cool. Schweiss is floored by the idea that they have sometimes have movies where they play the score on top of the movie. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty cool. I've never heard of that. You really? They've been doing that for a while, I thought. Nah, I, I mean, they probably have, but I was poor for a while, so I, I would have never even... I would never even Also, understood. Utah, so the like the two times that per year that that probably happens where you guys are, so... Yeah. I mean, you guys get, like, a distant worlds around you, like, once every, what, decade or... 15 years yeah we've gone to two one of them was in new jersey though and the other one we skipped one that happened like last year so yeah maybe once every 10 years yeah about thereabouts i still want to go to distant worlds man it looks awesome it's fun it's a lot but it's fun i think it was a good time i don't know yeah you do have to see people who don't know how to behave at a symphony concert that's fine drove me uh i've been to anime conventions i know how this works yeah they don't know how to behave or bathe Mm-hmm. <laughs> but I also couldn't justify dress the to their to body drag type. my fucking wife to the uh, Kingdom Hearts concert they had. Dress to their body type, is that what you said? Yeah. yeah. It's like that doesn't <laughs> fit. You know that doesn't fit right. <laughs> you see how you see how it looks like a Christmas ham right there, <laughs> that part of you. That's you are not a ham. All these people are cosplaying. Fit. <laughs> All these people are cosplaying as Yuna and uh, Renoa. They should be cosplaying as Quinn. Quinn. Yeah, I think you're looking for the wrong FF9 or, or Queen character. Braun even. Yeah, yeah, you're you're wrong FF9 character. Think royalty. Yeah. Think in charge, large <clears throat> and in charge. Or s- stuff yourself into armor like Steiner. Yeah, you might be able to get away with having a gut. Yeah, probably, yeah. But then, if you're a guy, if you're Steiner, you also got to put mascara on your, like, lower eyelid. Yeah. I'm sure they don't have Par for the that. course. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, so, yeah, I'll probably go. I, I guess I might go see it. I don't know. I'm not swayed by um, any reviews, because I haven't looked at any reviews. So, And plus, I am... You know, although, you know, Joe, I'm glad you didn't break out your, whoa, you know, you haven't even seen it argument. Because the last time, I was like griping about something I do that looked ludicrous was uh that Velma show and you're like well you know you, you didn't even see it you didn't even see it and you hate it and I was like okay well then I watched it and you're like oh what kind of fucking idiot watches a watches a Scooby-Doo show and I was like well you told me not to critique it until I watched it and then I watch it and you're like oh joke's on you retard you were supposed to watch it in the first place I was like well I watched it and it sucked it was awful I watched one episode, and I was like, I didn't even think about laughing. And then twice, you're like, oh, 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 a 30-year-old man watches Scooby-Doo. And I'm like, what? He's not even in there. Who there doesn't no love Scooby-Doo? Scooby-Doo? Joe, he hates it. He hates it. Joe said I was gay for not no, wanting to see Barbie. Sucks. I think Joe's gay for not liking Scooby-Doo. You're like, you, you get born with... <laughs> it, you're American. You get born loving Scooby-Doo. Right, bro. Yeah, it's <laughs> great. Yeah, they took it away. You might... I mean, you probably love Velma. There's no <laughs> Scooby-Doo at all. <laughs> No, it's bad. It's like it's not funny all right, at all. So here's the so. thing, Schweiss. You got two different you got two different versions of me. <laughs> there is the one who does like making fun of things and likes to tear people down and it has joy in that. And then the other part of me that is like a legitimate person who like loves art more than life. And, Inside and Joe there are two so, wolves and both of them are gay. <laughs> so, you know, I do have to defend things like, yeah, you can't really judge things until you've actually seen it, and then you can judge it. And frankly, no, I saw you the don't trailer even know how to judge. Shut up. I saw the trailer. You don't even enough. know. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> it's really hard with the delay right now. <laughs> okay. All right. So here's the thing. You got. You've got to not judge things like the actual quality of the actual thing itself until you see it. I really believe in that. So anybody looking at critic reviews, whatever, like fuck that stuff doesn't fucking matter. But also you do have to be familiar enough with a medium to be able to judge things. I think a little with a little bit more clarity, the more you know about a subject, the more you're able to parse out the details of that subject. And that goes with anything. 
Right. But one of those things is movies. So I guess it just bothers and me. And one of those things is Scooby Doo. And I'm intimately familiar I know the with most... Scooby Doo. So I can tell <laughs> Velma's bad just from the trailer. Ah! Um, I, I think that it's like. I don't know. It's just a genuine for the actual show. So you could say like Velma sucks, but yeah, as far as like Scooby Doo always sucking, I mean that's just my professional opinion. Scooby Doo's always sucked, so it doesn't surprise me they fucked up Velma because how could you? I like, can't believe you I sat on your you fucking can't lap. A turd. Well, yeah, I, I mean, can't believe. <laughs> I mean, it's not only can you not polish a turd, but it was written by a female <laughs> comedian. <laughs> what does that even mean? A female comedian who has never gotten a single show off the ground because they're all about her. No, I think like yeah, I don't know. It's a weird thing. Yeah, like all of her characters. She has are like her. three fucking shows, and no one's ever seen any of them because they're all about her. I don't know. They renewed Velma, so. Well, that's because like everyone was hate watching it. Max Ma- HBO Max claims that was like their most watched show that month, and I'm like, sure. Yeah, why was not? it the only new show that came out? Because duh. I don't know. Well, they're not like Netflix where they're green lighting 60 new projects every nanosecond and yeah. then spending $8.5 billion on all of them. Yeah, that's so. true. Although I, I, the fact that they went to Max, like, are they just trying to go away from HBO because like, cause of the old saying, it's not porn, it's HBO? Like, it's not porn, it's Max. That, that just sounds like big dick porn. I don't know. Fucking everyone's rebranding. HBO Max is just becoming Max. Twitter is becoming X. Yeah, some of them uh, don't even make sense. X, like what? What is this? One of your children, Elon? Like you gonna give it some fucking idiot <laughs> name? Like, uh, but Joe, I I disagree with what you're saying. I think it's very good to judge books by their cover because that's how you know what kind of book you're about to read. In fact, that one could say that judging a book by its cover is inherently tied to the basic biological uh, instinct, where we just judge things based on their outward appearance, which is what helps us survive. So yeah, I'm is. still alive because I was able to recognize that Velma was a shitty show and I didn't have to waste six hours of my life confirming that. Those things, I just know. Those things are true, <clears throat> but we're not talking about survival here. We're talking about sitting on your ass. <laughs> yeah, and if you're sitting on your ass for six hours watching a bad show, yeah. you're dying. Oh, so, I sat on my ass for an hour and a half and I hated it. Yeah, you're I dying. I could out, but I didn't. Wasting Instead, time is essentially murder. It, and now I'm going to... Now I'm gonna spend now I'm gonna spend five hours talking to my friends about how much I hated it because it was a feminist critique. Yeah. Dude, I've spent longer talking about shows that I barely watched that I caught snippets of my wife watching. <laughs> like I, I want like I caught no, snippets of my, I caught snippets. I mean, of, this on, is a on. fucking video game game review show. I caught yeah. snippets of my wife watching American Horror Story. I know like the hypocrisy four. of this. Yeah, and I, I mean, could probably go on like a three-hour diatribe about how that season was fucking garbage. Yeah, it's having like, that season, it's like, yeah, this is a video game review show, so obviously we all hate women. So why do we got to keep bringing it up? <laughs> and minorities, and that's what you were, vote, that's what so you were I mean... trying to say, right, Joe? Before we cut you off. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I don't hate women. Uh, most of the time, yeah, it's, I, I, yeah, Margot Robbie's, he's, she's a nine. I don't, I don't hate women on principle. Um, <laughs> now look, at, yeah, and it's, and it is true. It's that way with everything, though. Like you got, <laughs> you got like, uh, and and film critics are all douchebags, and you know, non-film critics are all douchebags too. And there's the the thing is, you got to realize like, like certain people view everything one way. You know, like there's like the whole Ben Shapiro critique of it. I'm sure he hated it. I saw something on Twitter that he's talking about hating it. But he he's like all politics all the time. So and it's not everything is super political. Things will have elements the type of, of politics. In I it. cannot stand to be around. Yeah. Yeah. It's like it's, there's things that will have politics in it. And yeah, maybe it's left leaning or whatever. But that doesn't. But when you're you're that's your job is to always observe politics it's hard to separate that and be like, well, you know, it's if, that, if that's all you ever see, then you really make a shit movie critic, if I'm going to be honest. And now, I might agree with them on it. I don't know. I've never seen the yep. movie. But it doesn't matter because it's like you only – your focus is one thing. And so that makes you kind of that one thing maybe you're an expert in, your, your side of it. But, like, this is a movie. This isn't 
you know, this isn't like trade policy. Also, whatever. is there any re- is there any reality where Ben Shapiro would have liked that movie? <laughs> like, come on, <laughs> let's be real. He would have found a reason to no. hate it just for clicks. No, there's not. Yeah. Now like it's just a pub- it's just a publicity stunt. It's now, like if the is. critical drinker hates it, then maybe <laughs> there's something to be said. Um, but I've a lot of the ones I watch of his. I don't know what the fuck that is. He's a he's a YouTube he's movie a YouTuber. critic. He's pretty good. He's pretty in- entertaining. He's like a really. Oh, I don't watch. I don't watch YouTube movie critics. Yeah, I've seen the, the only people I trust are Red Letter Media. That's basically <laughs> it. I just, I just, whatever they say, I just parrot that, and then that's my opinion. Yeah, uh, he's got some good ones. Um, he really hates the, some of the movies that I really hate. He also really hates. So I'm like, oh yeah, okay. But I a, a lot of them I watch, and it's like stuff that he. Uh, stuff that I won't watch. Like I, I watched his one on Rings of Power, and he was raging on it. But then his one on Last of Us, he was basically the same as what I thought. And I was like, yeah, it's good. You know, there's some stupid shit. There's some great shit, but meh. Yeah. I I have an unpopular uh, opinion about movie critics. I believe they should not be younger than sixty years old. Period. <laughs> And they should have seen like a bazillion movies in their life, and they need to be like a really good writer and a really good speaker, basically. So, like, all my good movie critics have died, except for Mark Kermode, who, by the way, I don't agree with him. That's what's important about a movie critic. You don't go to a movie critic to agree with them, you go to a movie critic to have a good conversation with them. They're what are you all talking? only a good Joe, they're if only I click a couple of good movie critics. Joe, if I click on a review for a movie on YouTube that I know I don't like and they start talking positively about it, I just click off and go find a video that I agree with. It's that simple. That's all you have to do. <laughs> you fucking cut. Oh, my God. Yeah, you're not YouTubing <laughs> properly. <laughs> YouTube's supposed to be an echo of your own thoughts with a different voice. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Echo chamber all the time, forever. Get, well, it, it's it's less it's less nuanced than that because it'll be like I'll click on a review for like the live action Little Mermaid and they'll be like this movie was kind of alright and I'm like they're clearly just retarded I'm gonna go find yeah. someone else's video you're like come on come on well, they're, they're clearly saw, stupid they it was fine look at the fucking look at Sebastian what, what what is this have you a heard the scuttlebutt crab? song have you heard the have you heard the scuttlebutt I've song? heard like three seconds of it and it did raise the a... blood pressure I was like oh man that's like frustrating. <laughs> It's like oh, it's they bad. thought they thought that uh they thought that uh that one Beastie Boys song like stressed people out. This one is just like oh, oh. Like what Beastie stress. Boys song stressed people out? Uh sabotage. They like did a they did a study where they like played music <laughs> in a store and that was the song that made people the most frustrated. You like, would never hear sabotage angry. Playing in a CVS <laughs> anyway, like if I'm like if if I'm if I'm at if I'm in line at Rite Aid and I just hear I'm like, are we about to get raided? What's going on here? <laughs> yeah. Like, God, I don't know punked? why I'm just fucking angry. Like, I don't, I like you don't walk into fucking Burger King and just hear Lamb of God. Like, I'm not trying to order my double whopper. It's like, if there was a day I could live, I'm like, yeah. So I don't know, dude. Uh, that study seems a little biased, <laughs> but I, don't know I mean, I agree. I were. agree. Sabotage is a stressful song, but that's because it sounds like a fucking air raid siren getting lobotomized. So, <laughs> yeah, you know, that's why I don't like Prague. It's like the it's like Prague is that way to me. It's really stressful. It's like there's just you, just you just don't like it because there's like more notes than the D chord. Yeah, no, I just Metallica. don't I don't like people that like celebrate keyboard solos that's like for <laughs> idiots that's for oh people that are like really lame like if you like that's like worse than rush being really your favorite flute. band like rush being your favorite band you probably stink and you probably have really long hair as a dude and oh, you probably yeah. work I, on, I, I stink but i have really short hair for and you work on miniatures a lot right so that's pretty lame but like if you look <laughs> <laughs> you like, he's you like, not here to defend himself if you like piano solos there's something <laughs> worse it's like you're Man, almost look, a larper at that point look i don't care what you say when that keyboard solo hits in subdivisions by rush i come every single yeah, time yeah it's like is he great you know the guy from the, the 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 fucking whatever guy i can't remember his name rudess or something from jordan rudess yeah is Zoom he really theater? good yeah but like yeah who he cares is. 
It's like having the, it's like having the Guinness World Book of World Records for something he has that like you're a the thing. only person no. that does has done. No, you don't. No, 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 no. When you go see them live, he has a thing that tilts his piano. I know. So can, I don't care. It's awesome. I don't fucking care. It's a there piano. is no cooler instrument it's on planet Earth piano. than it's, the keytar. It's not even a fucking piano. It's a recorder. It's like it's like a. It's just a fucking. A piano is like a grand instrument, you know, of like classical. It's like a keyboard. I can fucking buy one. Anyone can buy one. I can play. Then why in don't my you? Because I'm not Then why don't you game. learn how to play it? Because I don't want to. Because you would cool. never be able to do the fucking keyboard solo You're from right. Roundabout by Yes. You're right, but I would never want to. It's not cool. <laughs> It's yes, fucking it lame. It was the ending theme song for JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. That's the coolest shit ever. Look, you might be the <laughs> coolest lame of all time, but that, that's not what I want. Like, it's just, ah, oh, and it's like, ah, it's just so stressful. That's why I'm going like to dress up in a wizard's cape, and I'm going to play the keyboard like a virtuoso, and I'm going to get so much 5 out of 10 pussy because of it. You yeah, believe me. Yeah, you'll, you'll fuck Margot Robbie's <laughs> mid- is <laughs> your keyboard skills? Margo Robbie probably loves keyboard solos. Yeah, probably. You know, it's even more lame as dressing up like a like you fell into a, the you also fell into the fucking spirit Halloween dumpster and came out, and then you got an organ, and that's what you're playing instead. Yeah, the organ is a grand instrument. Yeah, it's just yeah. that like, like we don't have room for the all organ. The, is we cooler. We can't it's take cooler. the pipes. We A4. can't take all those pipes with you know, us on tour. You know, what A4. A4 for a man who wears more graphic t-shirts than I've ever known a man to wear. <laughs> you sure do hate Hot Topic a lot. Yeah. Yeah, you got like a lot a... of my shirts are from Hot Topic. I'm a corporate shill. You know how many times I've bought stuff from Hot Topic? <laughs> Fucking I'm not what? saying Hot Topic Maybe. is bad. I'm just saying. I got a you know, I got an injustice. I bought something from Hot Topic. <laughs> yeah. There's a reason I said she yeah. didn't have the dumpster behind Hot hey, Topic. Hey, it was they... all the shit they couldn't sell. Hey, I got an Injustice for All hoodie from there one time. That I'm was sorry funny. you had a crush on Margot Robbie and she wouldn't fucking suck your dick, A4. Yeah, because you weren't good enough with the keyboard. Her, and I would go Hot Topic. I wouldn't touch Margot Robbie's pussy with your dick. <laughs> I would. <laughs> I wish you would. Like, grab Joe's cock and just like, boop, 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 boop. It's like flipping. I'm just hand. saying, she came out of the dumpster behind Hot Topic. It's all the shit they couldn't sell. <laughs> well, they, couldn't sell they couldn't sell a t shirt, a halter top that says Daddy's Little Monster. They could sell ghost t shirts because that shit's fucking rad. But you know what? <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that thought. Um, yeah, you forgot. Because you mentioned oh, ghosts. Sorry, were you so you forgot. About ghosts? Yeah, you forgot yeah, what you were gonna say because you were like, "I entered a fucking, I entered a fugue state as soon as I said ghosts." Yeah, <laughs> you entered the fucking like third stage of uh, Inception sleep diving when you mentioned ghost. Oh, there goes Joe. Yeah. yeah, see, Joe was so bored he disconnected. That's how bored he was. He went at the mere mention of ghost. But. <laughs> Yeah, we need to move on. To, we we, we need to move on to what we've been playing because I I've just been told I need to quiet down. Oh, no one's here for me. Speaking of, I bought this. Uh, uh, I bought this Snickers, and it's it says Rock and Nut Road on it. That's the only reason why I bought it. <laughs> so I'm about to rock Nut Road, boys. Your favorite road? Yeah, uh, Nut Road <laughs> on the corner of Cum Avenue. <laughs> The corner of Cum Avenue and R- a, Nut Road. I love a big black veiny bar that reminds me of a <laughs> Nut Road. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I just bought the sticker for the <laughs> Nut Road part. Yeah, that's fucking good, man. Rocking that Nut Road. Gonna take my bar to the old Nut Road. I'm gonna... Eat it and then throw it in the trash. That is the worst song ever written, by the way. I know. Yeah, it's the worst annoying. song ever written. I know. That's... I can't believe anybody listen. Like, oh my god, that mashup between like country and that, and like rap. Well, no, or, I mean like, that's very is... that's very smart because well, it's also rap... Kid Rock. Or no, it's not Kid Rock. It's, it's what's Billy Ray name? Cyrus. It's, uh, Billy Ray Cyrus. Billy Ray Cyrus. Oh, is it really? I didn't know yes. that. Kid Rock's it not also, that it, gay. So it's all re- so no, every Rock, song he's ever written is terrible. 
No, Kid Kid Rock's songs are all like "fuck you, I love Trump, fuck your feeling." Um, no, but I mean the 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 Old Town Road thing does at least make sense because rap yeah. and country. Are How the can same I make "Sweet music. Home Alabama" a terrible song? Yeah, I, I mean Kid Rock <laughs> had his place and his time. All right. And that time was 1996. No, see, here's the difference. Kid Rock is shooting the the can of Bud Light out of Billy Ray Cyrus's hand. That's like that's a, that's. A, <laughs> there's that video of him like shooting a fucking case of Bud Light, and I'm like, Bud Light's gross anyway. Like, what what's what's the, what's the deal? Well, everyone's like, oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna boycott Bud Light. Blah blah. It's like drinking beer. Like beer is full of phytoestrogens. Just switch to hard alcohol, like a real man. I don't know why you're drinking beer anyway. Yeah, I like beer ah. more. That's why you're fucking losing your hair, man. You gotta fucking. No, that, I'm, that's, I'm like that's not why he's kidding. losing his hair. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's genetic. Beer is, okay, look. Well, that's probably not helping, but the, <laughs> I'm just saying. Well, it's certainly not beer, helping. Don't be so Philadelphia. Of, uh, beer, beer, is, beer is full of phytoestrogens. Look it up. Uh, basically, it basically makes you more girly to drink beer. So. Yeah, I never had any problem with the Bud Light boycott because I don't drink beer. Beer is girl. Beer is girl. Beer is girl. That's a cool psycho You're stick girl. song. Man, <laughs> you know it. <sighs> so, what have you been playing this week, Joe? Oh, what have I been playing this week? Yes. What can I discuss about what I've been playing? Um, I don't remember if I put that I beat a certain large RPG. Uh, Kingdom Hearts but 2? I did. Yeah. Uh, Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. No. Um, and I've also been playing this uh, little known action RPG puzzle game thing on the N64 uh, entitled uh, Quest Ocarina 64? of Time. Oh. Uh, yeah. And um, Ocarina of Time is. It takes me a lot longer than the people who've been playing it since they, were, since they were seven years old. I will tell you that. I don't know how many hours I've put into it because I can't tell where to find that information. Um, I guess I can go to the Wii menu and add up the times. But outside of that, like, I don't know. Like, the let, like the Let's Play that I checked to see where I'm at in the game is like 13 hours long. I've definitely played this for, like, at least twice that much. So, uh, yeah. but I am almost done. I'm at the I mean, part where you're you... breaking some dudes out of a prison, and yeah, the Gerudo I'm Fortress. gonna go do the Light Temple, and then I think it's like the ending area mm-hmm. and the final boss after that. So yep. I've got like probably five or six more hours left. Yeah, I don't know because uh, yeah. you did say Super Metroid took you like forty-seven hours or something. So yeah, somehow, somehow I beat a thirty-five-hour game in eight hours. 20 minutes or whatever. I can't remember how long it was, but it was a while. Like they, they just always take me a lot longer. Like those kind of puzzle games. Like if you know the answer, which you know is skewing up the how long to beat sites. Like if you know how to beat the puzzle, then it doesn't take you very long to beat it again. And you can't like pretend because you have fucking memory loss that it took you like five seconds to get through that goddamn thing. Like it takes some time. You gotta like look at the map. You gotta look around. You gotta explore. You gotta like press things, and that takes way more longer than what they were saying on how long to be. I just want a warning to our fellow hosts that definitely aren't here and aren't listening. Um, that uh, that this game is longer than than was advertised. I um, have, but, have you guys just have you, you guys know, not played out. Ocarina of Time before this? I have played through the Deku tree before, and that was it. Like, playing Ocarina of Time is, like, you're my age. You should have played Ocarina of Time at least, like, once in your life before now. I've never played it. Uh, video what games were fuck? banned in my house until I was 15, yeah, and so, I didn't yeah. have an N64. My mom didn't want me having video games either, but I still found a way to play Ocarina of Time when I was, like, 10. <sighs> yeah, see, when I played things that I wasn't, when I wasn't allowed to have video games, I played, like, Grand Theft Auto. I played real games. Men. Oh. Games that said the N word. I mean, I played a, a lot of Z- There's not a single Zelda. That you played. cannot. You cannot. You don't know whether or not he says the N word in Ocarina of Time. He might say it. It's probably that Navi, that racist little fuck. You could just name your character that. I mean, <laughs> nothing's stopping you. This was before they put like 
content filters in, in text fields and video games. Yeah. In fact, I think I know what I'm going to name Link now in my, <laughs> on my save file. Name CJ. Oh, my God. Um, <laughs> what? I'm going to name him N-Word. Carl Johnson. E- E-N-W-A-R-D. N-Word. It's like Edward, but, you know. So, yeah. Anyway. Uh, what um, you... So, yeah, that's all I've been playing. Nice. Uh, what about you, A4? I have been playing quite a bit of the God of Wars. Uh specifically God of War 2018 and some of God of War Ragnarok, which is a fantastic little movie, I must say. Yeah, um, it's a pretty big movie. Yeah, they probably could have cut a lot of stuff. I mean, they could have cut a lot of stuff out of the first one, to be honest. That, movie, that movie's way too long. Um, How review bomby would you have been if you were on the show at the time? I'd probably have given the story a nine. Because I still think the part where Atreus has to act like a fucking idiot is way too, uh, it's way too abrupt and way too jarring for it to feel natural. And I would also probably give the gameplay a nine because the exploration and all that stuff is pretty great. But the combat is just completely hampered by the fact that you can't see half the shit going on because the camera zoomed in too much. I still stand by that. I wish it wasn't the case. I also am very annoyed. Something that they did fix in God of War Ragnarok, as far as I can tell, I was very annoyed playing the first one where anytime you find a chain that like is a shortcut back down to a lower area, every time you hit circle to knock it down, it makes you climb on it. When I'm like, I no, I just want to get that ready for later. I don't want to climb down. Like I have to climb back up immediately. Whereas like at least in God of War Ragnarok, some of the chains that I've kicked down, I haven't immediately climbed down. So I'm like, okay, that saves me three seconds times however many fucking chains are in the game, which adds up. Um, there is a big problem with God of War 2018 that uh, I was watching. Uh, there's, a, there's a YouTuber named Joseph Anderson who does like big deep dives in games. He's the guy that like, I also, I sent you guys the video where he talked about the uh, Uncharted games and like basically everything he said was kind of what I agreed with about like, yeah, this is why I don't really like the Uncharted games. Um, he did one on God of War 2018 and he really liked it, but like, a lot of the stuff that he critiqued about it was stuff that I agree with. We're like, yeah, getting around that world is a gigantic pain in the ass because it is so fucking slow because everything has to be this one shot camera. So like when you fast travel, it has to load in the fucking Yggdrasil branches so you can run around those. Then it has to disguise, use that to disguise loading in the area you're going to so that it pops up the door and then you go in. Um, so yeah, getting around that world is kind of a giant pain in the ass. And since I did 100% complete that game, I know all too well how annoying getting around God of War 2018's world is. But seems like they fixed it a little bit in Ragnarok, as far as I can tell. I'm only in um, Svartalfheim right now. Like, I just got to the Dwarf City, so I'm not super far in. But um, there's, like, little, little tiny improvements. Maybe not as much as I would have wanted, but um, yeah, it I- is... It is it is also just kind of wild because I'm going from playing 2018 on the PC where I'm running it at like uh, like 150 fucking frames a second. It's super smooth to playing it on the PS4 where not only do I have like a black border around the screen, I guess, because it needs that because if the picture's too big, then like it's going to chug the PS4. But also it's running at like 30 frames a second, maybe. I, I don't know what the exact frame rate is, but like it's a little weird for me. It does weirdly that makes it feel a little more cinematic because it's more of like a frame rate that's like closer to what you'd actually see in a film um so that's kind of neat yeah uh that's because you got a ps4 the game's made well, yeah. for ps5 uh, well they, they also it's on ps4 it. yeah they also release it on ps4 you're right yeah because uh ps5 doesn't really have any uh games but uh it, it seems to run fine on the ps4 for yeah all, the problem is again that they just pussyfoot around and release the things on the ps4 when they should just be like sorry this is ps5 if you want it you need to get a ps5 i agree they probably should have done that but i don't work at sony if i did they probably would be uh, in a way better position than they are right now but it does run good on the ps4 from what i can tell um i did have to put in an install disc it is a two disc ps4 game so kind of like Red Dead Redemption 2, you have to like put it in an install disk and then there's a play disk for what has the rest of the data on it. Um, but I'm enjoying my time with it so far. I don't think I'm going to 100% complete this one just because 
it took me like 45 fucking hours to do the other one. And I'm just probably going to try to Joe core this one so I can get it done on time. Uh, but yeah, not bad. I'm liking it so far. Yeah, good. They're, they're good. I think the soundtrack in the older ones is better, though. I'll be honest. I think like OG God of War soundtracks are more satisfying. I think they stand out a little more, or at, very, at the very least, the light motif of like Kratos' theme stands out a little more. Like, da, 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 da. And, like, no, no offense to Bear McCreary, because like, clearly the soundtracks in these are really good, too. They just don't really. Yeah, no, they're, they're good, but they're not like huge good. Yeah. And like, the, the God of War 3's got the better one, I think. But And they, they, yeah. I think maybe I, in comparison, but as, as a person who's only played one, and gone back to it. I think the soundtracks to the new ones are great. Like, great. Like, I was humming. I mean, it's kind of a Pirates of the Caribbean ripoff uh, tune, but I hummed the, like, the. Yeah. All the time. I, I will say, though, when these games have good moments, they have really good fucking moments. Like, I, I talked to you guys on the Facebook chat during the part of the first game where. Spoilers for a fucking five year old game, but uh, when when Kratos goes back home to get the Blades of Chaos, and like that moment's really well done. That's probably the best part of that whole fucking game. And uh, even just at the beginning of Ragnarok, so far, the scene where uh, a certain group of people show up at their house, and like the one guy just immediately dwarfs Kratos like right away, and it's like really, it's an impactful scene, really really tense kind of stressful although i didn't really like the one guy uh he's got an eye patch i didn't really like his characterization so far especially when he like referred to the one character as his ex and i'm like what would a god would a god say that i don't know oh no i wasn't well, again <clears throat> i've only seen him in one scene so far yeah, he, he just seemed kind of he just kind of seemed nonchalant like it was weird like i guess they're trying to play him up as sort of being like a mafia don kind of thing going on where he's just sort of like he can't be bothered he just leaves all the work to his son, but um, I just thought. Well, if he is the all-powerful like god of that realm, like right, why does he need to be. No, I know it just it felt anything. Like but I was that. expecting, you know, I was he's expecting a politician, more. Basically, I was expecting more Anthony Hopkins than the guy we got, which I don't even really have like a celebrity analog to Richard like, Schiff. Well, he's just a celebrity. No, he is so. a celebrity. He's already <laughs> like... big, big, huge TVs. Start, I don't know yeah. who fucking played these when guys. When he started dude. playing it, I was like, hold on. Hold on. Is that the dude from West Wing? And then I looked it up like, yes, it is the dude from West Wing. I've never seen West Wing, oh, yeah. so I don't know. But um, I watched like half a season uh, that's of great. it. And we watched stopped. the first four seasons. It's great. I hear it's good. I just haven't seen it. Um, But yeah, I don't know. His characterization just seemed a little off to me. But I again, I haven't seen much of him yet. I'm assuming he's going to be showing up a lot later in the game. Yeah. So uh, You got to realize that the Marvel version of these characters is like the retarded version. So Well... But, like, the Marvel version of that character is very grandiose and Shakespearean in a way that, like, makes sense with the mythology. Whereas, like, in here, it just seems like he's an actor, which is weird to me. But this is, like, the mo- this is the most minor nitpick of all fucking time. Because I thought that scene was still really great. I just thought his, like, and he's like, oh, I could maybe help There's you. Uh, like, you get my ex off your back. And I'm like, what did God say? His ex, what is he, 15 years old? What the fuck? Like, even if he, even if he went full Danny DeVito. a 60s movie. Sorry, Go on. the delay is horrible. There's a '60s movie. There's a '60s movie called The Virgin Spring, which is by Swedish filmmakers, and um, Odin's in that, and he's almost like this, like weird, just a weird, decrepit old man in a hut that a woman runs into, and then like the crows are flying around. He's just kind of like creepy and and bizarre. So I, I don't know if there is like. At least from what I've seen, and I, I need to read some of the old myths, and I haven't. Um, but at least from what I've seen, like Odin d- doesn't seem like the the comic book character one from a lot. Because well, the the comic book character is not the only exposure to this character that I have. I've also played Odin Sphere, in which he's like a giant. He's basically like King Triton in that fucking game, where he's like a giant fucking dude with a huge beard. He's like imposing and like. I get what they're going for with this one. Again, I have to get further in the game. I just think. The weirdest part was him saying, oh, my ex. If he would have just, I was going to say before, if he just went full, like, Frank Reynolds from Always Sunny in Philadelphia, just called her my whore there's, wife, that would there's make a lot of sense. There's a lot of anachronisms in these yeah. God of War games where they just talk very modern. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the other thing that really I can see bugged, that bug in some people. It didn't bug me, though. One thing that really bugged me, too, is that there's a pop-up 
there's a tutorial pop up during one of the earlier fights. I forget if it's against like the bear or if it's the first fight against Thor, where they t- they just straight up tell you there's certain attacks that you can't dodge, so you have to block. Now keep in mind there are no indicators for this. It just tells you that blocking is also a thing in these games that like i feel very disincentivized to even do because it almost always puts you at a disadvantage because if you're blocking a yellow flash attack Mm. you're going to get like staggered if you don't parry it and if you try to block a red attack you'll take damage anyway so like i almost never block because it seems to always put me at a fucking disadvantage um so the fact that the game is just saying hey there's also some attacks you can't dodge so you have to block them we're not going to tell you what they are because there's no indicators for them because this game is well designed but uh, we just want to let you know that, uh, which is really funny, too, because like some of the attacks from the first game, I felt were like nigh undodgeable. The wolf, the wolvers have one attack. I think it's like a red flash attack where like they, they like rear up to hit you with like a downward swipe. And even if I dodge it at the last second, they still like track your motion. So like they'll just immediately turn 90 degrees and hit me anyway. So like I, I need like a frame perfect fucking dodge for that specific attack. So I kind of get that this game has like undodgeable attacks, but like. It's just weird. It's just like why? Why would you not make like a third kind of indicator? I don't like think there's undodgeable. Like... There's unblockable, but no, they they straight up. There's like one of the tooltips. It's very subtle, but it just says like there are certain attacks you can't dodge. You got to block them. I know there's unblockable attacks. It's just like I'm just sitting here like okay, I guess I don't know. Yeah. Um, I mean, I mean the... the combat's not as smooth as like a good uh, game. Yeah, I like agree. Dark Souls but um, or, uh, or like a freaking like a Sekiro or even like a Final Fantasy 16 sometimes. Yeah, a game made by people that like know how to make a good combat system instead of like a instead of a thing that's based on like uh, you know, spectacle and uh set pieces. But I will say uh I probably won't have too much trouble beating it because the other thing about God of War 2018 is that uh your stats don't fucking matter. It all depends on your gear and what level your gear is. Like what rarity, I should say. I don't know if it's the same way in Ragnarok yet. It doesn't seem like it has gear rarity in Ragnarok. I'm kind of glad they got rid of that because that shit fucking annoyed me in the first one. It's like, ah, yeah, that's what I think of when I think of God of War. Gear rarity. Oh, I got to get those epic drops. Like, this is fucking Diablo. Um, yeah. Because by, ti- by the time I got to the fucking end of God of War 2018, like, I had so much good gear that, like, the final boss was not a problem. Uh, Sigrun was, but I beat her after a few tries, just kind of memorizing the patterns and using some of my runic attacks to cheese her. Uh, but yeah, I'm not really hating my time with Ragnarok. I think it's Joe said like months ago on the Facebook chat that Ragnarok is like a really breezy playthrough. And I totally agree. I'm like just getting pulled along slowly and surely just going through these worlds doing stuff. And I'm just like, yeah, I'm here. It's fine. Some games when you have to beat them for a podcast, make you look at your watch a lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's good when one, when a game doesn't. Mm-hmm. Like Halo Infinite was one of those games. Like I never felt the time passing. I was like, "Damn it, our three hours is up," kind of a yeah. thing. And uh, God of War was also one of those where it was like, "Oh man, I could keep playing this." And yeah. FF16 about past the halfway point, I kind of felt the same way. I just felt yeah. like I wanted to jump into it all the time. Um, Ocarina of Time is not, unfortunately, <laughs> and uh, Metroid definitely wasn't. Um, doesn't mean they weren't good games and they might've been the way at the time, but I have too many distractions now. <laughs> yeah. Like that, uh, like that rock and nut road. It's a big distraction. Well, the, the thing about the thing about the God of yeah. War, the new God of War games is like, since they're so cinematic and they like, they're kind of just based on like getting you to the next thing. So like, there's just, it's constantly pulling you forward. Like even, even when I'm doing like side shit in the first one, it's just like, and I know I've still got to, like, I, I did a good chunk of the side shit once I got to the end, and, like, Mimir basically tells you, like, hey, you better make sure you've done everything before you blow that horn, because you're, you're going to the end of the game. He basically said that. Also, the characters do talk too much, but there's a nice detail I had in Ragnarok today where I was exploring, like, a little island in Svartalfheim, and finally the little fucker says something useful. Fucking Atreus is like, I think everything, I think we got everything here. We could probably go, and I'm like, thank you fuck fuck that's so because like i can't tell you how many times i'm like walking around in the first game looking around looking in the trees like i know there's another crow here there has to be i still have one missing uh so it's nice to know 
yeah sometimes when they're like hey i mean the, we'll solve every puzzle for you but we're also we'll also tell you when you're done so that's nice yeah it's like oh here just take and take the wheel i'll just sit back and watch the movie yeah really yeah uh yeah what have you been playing twice exclusively final fantasy 16 um we were supposed to review it but it's a good thing we didn't schedule that because i worked really late that day like really late. Like I didn't get home until like seven, so that would have been a nightmare. Um, yeah, I've been playing the shit out of that game. Uh, I did beat it. Um, I am. I did try to beat the first Spoilers. Chronolith, and I couldn't. So I was like, meh, I'll put this down for now. Um, I do want to go back and get the platinum eventually, but I got to play it again. And yeah, so. There's this lady again. I did the same thing with the chronolith. I was like, I, I did it. I almost beat it, but I didn't quite. And I was like, well, that was 20 minutes. Uh, nah, I'm good on this trophy. Yeah. See you later. I'll beat the game now. Um, I would have gotten the Steam equivalent of a platinum trophy for God of War 2018, except uh, I didn't get the ancient armor set. I don't know how the fuck. You, I didn't care. The game still gave me 100% completion when I beat it. And also... Because another thing that I thought I would have to do, but I didn't, thank God. Uh, all the extra Muspelheim trials in that fucking game. Because the first one is defeating 20 enemies without taking any damage. And I'm like, no, fuck that, dude. Especially when the last one's one of those big fucking stone ancient things that has like a giant beam attack that sweeps the entire thing. And if you don't do like a frame perfect dodge roll, you just get hit. And he's the last guy you have to fight. So I'm like, yeah, I'm not. Like, I, Atreus kept going, like, what are we doing wrong? And I'm just sitting there talking to my computer, like, I'm playing this fucking shitty game, dude. That's what's wrong. So, no, I did not do all the extra Muspelheim trials. Uh, I know they give you greater crests of flame, which craft some of the best armor in the game. But at that point, I was like, I don't fucking care. It's not going towards 100% completion. I am not doing it. I think uh, I did all of it. Like, is it part of the trophy? I think was everything. Yes. Well, you you had you do get a trophy for, or at least on the Steam thing, you get an achievement for beating all the Muspelheim trials. But I'm just like, I, I'm not going to fight 19 guys again only to get to the Stone o Ancient and have it fucking use an ice beam attack that hits me once, and I have to do that fucking 10 minute fight all over again. Fuck that shit. Yeah, that one was rough. There's other there's ones in the. And new it's one the that first really one. Too. I the other ones in it. Well, I only did like one of the other optional ones because i just needed like a greater crest of flame to like upgrade one of the valkyrie things one of the pieces of armor so i didn't try the other ones but like i don't know man it's just the ones where you don't take damage where i'm just like i can't this did game you, is not designed that way did you like the uh mist area the one like with the poison that was so interesting although there was there was one time where i was like there's like there's the parts where like the walls crush you but there's like a, there's like a section you can climb up on top of and you have to like wait yeah, for the wall to crush, and then you go down, and then sometimes there's a treasure chest midway through. But I was on, I was standing on one of them near the edge, and the thing hit me, and I died, even though I wasn't like in between like another wall. And I was, and I lost like six thousand fucking mist echoes, and I'm like, I'm gonna fucking scream because I should not have died there. That is some horse shit. But I did do everything there. I yeah. opened up all the rift tears and everything. That area was super cool because it was like a, it was like a new. It was like a new area, and all of your old shit didn't matter at all. So you had to like grind out this. Gauntlet. Well, it was weird. I was rocking most of that armor at the end of the game, just because it had like the best stats for me, even yeah. better than some of the Valkyrie shit that I had. Um, but eventually, that area just became annoying because to get like the final rift tears open, I basically had to like just do one or two run throughs and like hitting everything, which like it didn't become like a problem after a while, unless I was like close to death, like from just a normal fight. Yeah, it's just like okay, I guess I'll run through Muspel or I'll run through fucking uh, Niflheim like two more fucking times so I get enough to open up this last rift tear. Yeah, I thought whatever. it was super cool because it's like you got to build. It's an interesting idea. I just you can. I think it outstays its welcome. Yeah. Well, no, I I did the whole thing over the course of a couple of days. It's just like it overstays its welcome after a while. Like t needing like twenty thousand of those fucking mist echoes to open the last rift tear. I'm like, you can go fuck yourself. I'm not doing that. I mean, I did it, but like. It, well, who fucked whose self then? I just put on a few podcasts and just fucking played through it for a couple hours. That's all I had to do. Yeah, but but that that was, that was like that day where it's like I am beating this game today. And then, yeah, I had that day was sixteen, but then it was actually the next day that I beat it because yeah, there's like well, a billion side quests that open up right at the very end, like mm. nine hours worth, and it's pretty crazy. <laughs> oh God. Yeah. Um. 
Yeah, it's going to be an interesting review. I still, I have you decided where you're going to place it, Joe? In the rankings for Ultima Final Fantasy? Um, Final Fantasy Podcast. The Ultimate Final Fantasy Podcast. Uh, God of War? <laughs> no. Um, uh, yeah, 16. For 16. Have you decided where it goes? Where am I going to rank it? I have a roundabout. But I'm there's like one game that it's wrestling with. I don't know if it'll go above or below. Yeah. Thirteen. Eleven. <laughs> yeah. Uh it's a it's interesting. That's right. It's interesting. I'm not sure where I'm gonna put it though. I don't I honestly don't know. So um hopefully I'll make a decision by the end of the next episode of Ultima Final Fantasy, because I really don't I don't know where I'm gonna put that fucking thing. But it is done, so we both beaten it. Yeah, you're not sure if it's a great Final Fantasy game or a terrible Final Fantasy game. What are yeah. where are you gonna put it? Yeah, somewhere in the middle there, somewhere, somewhere between great and terrible. You know, would you say mid? Would you say it's the Marco Robbie of Final Fantasy games? Yeah, maybe. Like it's very, Fuck it's you, very dude. pretty, but it's like, uh... yeah, you're it's insulting right. one of them, and I won't tell you which. Yeah. Are you saying Margot Robbie's better than Final Fantasy 16? Yeah, where would you rank Margot Robbie in Final Fantasy 16, Joe? Honestly, if you asked me if I wanted a world without FF16 or a world without Margot Robbie, I would pick one of those. No. I would hope so. Yeah, otherwise... I was just... like, no, the third option, I want a world without juice. <laughs> yeah. We tried that once. Yeah, I don't know. Then we would not have you on the podcast, A4. Yeah, Yeah. because we would have never hired you thinking you were one. Although we would have never thought you were one because they would have been gone. So we would have seen right through you. I'm like the last airbender. Yeah, we would have seen right through you and thus never hired you in the first place. This we found that we found him we found him frozen in a in a bank in the middle of the ocean. (laughs) He's actually he's the last money changer. Yeah. Yeah. That's a that's the last money lender. It's like, oh, what terrible interest Fuck. rates do you have for me today? Instead so. of instead of riding around on an air sphere, I ride around on a dreidel, just spinning around and <laughs> stuck up my ass. Man, I'm liking this idea more and more. <laughs> Jewish, the last airman. <laughs> Jew for extreme, the last money lender. <laughs> Let's see what Ben Shapiro All the nations about lived in peace. Movie. All the nations lived in peace, and then the Germans attacked. Yeah, for no reason. <laughs> yeah. So awesome. have you beaten a game, or do you have the sound effect queued up? Oh, I've had it queued up for hours. So everyone knows what we've all been playing this week. But as anyway, beaten the game this week. <laughs> Joe. Uh, did I mark said Final Fantasy yep. as being last time? You did. Okay, well then, no, I did not beat a game this week. All right, I beat FF16. Or Final Fantasy 14 meets nice. Final Fantasy 12, the game. What about you, A4? You're making me want to play it now what? since you likened it to 12. Uh, I beat God of War, parentheses 2018. All right, God of War 18, and that's it? <laughs> yeah. Weak. The creative director, um, so there's two directors credited. One is, like, the main director, and one is the creative director. The creative director was also, like, the lead artist on FF12. So yeah. as far as it's, like, doldrumy that... look to it, and it's not super anime or anything, that's him. Right. Yeah, that's what I like. But... You know. By the way, thank you, Zodi twenty two, for subscribing. Yeah, appreciate it. Thank glad you. to glad the 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 pogrom on the podcast today brought out your sub. That's what we <laughs> that's what we live for. I don't even I don't even know what that word means. It's uh, <laughs> basically a culling of the Jews out of a village. So, an organized massacre of a particular ethnic group, in particular that of Jewish people in Russia or Eastern Europe in the late 19th, early 20th century. They use that word in the Castlevania show. Yeah. I mean, it, it, it really just me. It's just whenever anyone gets cast out. 
and beaten down. <laughs> Generally, it happened to have been one particular group back then, but it could be. Yeah. Anybody. It could be vampires too, I guess, if you really want to feel bad. Well, no, I think you. I think in the Castlevania show, he was talking about like all the people in like Cypher's like weird little religious sect thing. Yeah. All, all I know is that that show's okay. It's pretty cool. <laughs> It's like the Margot Robbie of video game adaptations. Uh, yeah, it's, it's very like, pretty. Fuck you guys! Oh my fucking. Uh, the season one's great. Episode seven of season two is great. Otherwise, it's trash. Um, yeah, it's like her her God, look from I, like the I, you left. Know, the amount of ugly dudes talking trash about pretty women is insane to me. I'm I've hot. seen that so much. Not to be not to be Mr. Feminist Joe here, but uh, I have seen that a lot. Like a concerning amount. Of we dudes... just invented a new. Judging women new character for when the they podcast? look like fucking fat fucking slobs. What can I say? Anyway, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm fucking attractive. Not I think I have the right the to say. Yeah. Sorry, the, the lag's really bad. Look, I said she's a nine and a half. That's what, what do you want? I know. What more do you want from me? She's like a, she's like a low seven in my book. Uh, who do you think's more attractive than Mark? What the Rob? fuck are you? If she's a seven, Carly Rae Jepsen. <laughs> Carly Rae Jepsen, really? No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Carly Rae Jepsen. Um, Margaret Qual. Ooh. Margaret. Uh, what? Margaret. Margaret. Margaret Qualley. She was the chick who played uh, Mama in Death Stranding. She's pretty hot. I guess. Leia Sado, I think. Don't worry for they're all is. more attractive than you. I think Leia Sado is hotter than she is. Leia Sado is hot in like a Down syndrome kind of way. <laughs> like she's hot, but her face is like too droopy. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you know, I've never seen a Down syndrome chick and been like, man, Samokin. Although, except for maybe that one meme I sent to you guys that was like A four clearly it has said if she down I'm down and it was like a a really fit chick with Down syndrome that one made me laugh um, pretty hard despite how despite how cringe that game is I think the chick who plays the main character in Forspoken is quite attractive I think she's more attractive than Margot Robbie I don't know what the fuck the actress's name is um, she just looks... she needs she needs to get a better agent because she was also in that dog shit Resident Evil show on Netflix. Uh, yeah, I don't know. That's just a few examples I can think of off the top of my head. Um, Leia Sido is pretty hot. Uh, I don't know. I don't know who I think the most attractive female is. My my gener- general opinion has been Scarlett Johansson for a long time, and I do think she is more attractive in her prime than Margot Robbie. Like easily, candidly defeats Margot Robbie, but. I don't know. I mean, I can't say that they're not both amazingly gorgeous women. Yeah. I think that's that would be disingenuous. Um, I mean, Margot Robbie's more in my type. But Scarlett Johansson is also freakishly hot. Yeah, I know. So, what am I going to do? You hear that, you Scarlett? Know, beggars can't be choosers. I'm coming for you. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I I, 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 I've never really thought about who like the hottest woman alive is. I like Natalie Portman quite a bit. No, uh, not I, she's okay, but like Margot Robbie level, I don't think so. I like her more than Margot Robbie. I think uh, I think that one chick, what's her name, uh, Janelle Monae, she's pretty smoking hot. Ah, fuck, who is that? I know that name, but I can't. She's Janelle Monae is quite attractive. She's a singer that's in a bunch of movies. Not not a bunch of movies. She's in like six movies. Yeah, she's in a bunch of shit that I've never seen. But yeah, she's pretty cute. She's the mom in Moonlight. Yeah. What well, I what part the, of I haven't seen any of these the, movies. She's the okay. she's the boy girlfriend of the man, the dad figure in Moonlight. Yeah, she's not really the mom, but she takes on the mom role. She's fucking hot. Moonlight. Yeah. Well, she's pretty cute. I like never that. heard her music. It'll ruin it if I do. I'm sure. But. <laughs> um, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Britney Spears was pretty hot for a while. She was like super hot. Eh, I thought. I don't know. A little bit. I don't know. I'm not really. Not really I'm not more than bad. like more than like a, a traditional choice I guess I... would be uh, would be um, Angelina Jolie, and I think I don't think she's that hot either. I I guess I just don't like blondes. 
I think Angelina Jolie at like 20 years old was yeah insanely hot. Yeah, she had her time. Like I, I don't know. I think uh, I bl- as far as blondes go, I mean, Marilyn Monroe is pretty fucking hot. Jennifer Connelly is pretty fucking smoking hot. Yeah, I don't know. I think I think the most beautiful famous woman ever is is Audrey Hepburn. Yeah, but she's definitely more yeah, attractive yeah, than. I guess. I don't know. She's yeah. more attractive than Monroe for sure. I think. There's yeah, man. Audrey Hepburn is pretty fucking hot. Like I'm just saying, Margot Robbie's pretty and all, but she's not as hot as like Eris from Final Fantasy VII remake. It's just science. Yeah. <laughs> the one that you know, I watched. Uh, I watched when I watched uh, Quantum of Solace again. I didn't think. I didn't think Olga was as hot as she. I thought she was before. Hmm. Like my mind has simmered on Olga. Like she's, she's not. I mean, maybe it's the contrast between her and that that fucking that rag Mila Kun is, but I, I, I just don't know. Like I, I, when I first watched quantum, I was like, this chick is fucking hot. Like, who is this? Holy shit. It's like, God damn. And then I watched it again and I was like, meh, I don't know. She's mid. You know, <laughs> I didn't think she was mid, but I was like, man, um, when is she going to be like, she's going to have like that angle. That's just like, ah, was the reason you compared her to Mila Kunis because they were both in Max Payne? Yeah, that? that's why. Yeah, that was my joke. Yeah, that's in that, what he's talking about. That episode was that the no one else. She just made Mila Kunis look like a fucking dirty rag the entire time they were both on screen together. I was like, Ooh, who's that? Who's that eight? Ugh, get that out of my sight. <laughs> Where's your hot sister? Why'd you have to um, kill your hot sister? Plenty O'Toole. Yeah, she's pretty hot. Plenty of tool, I, I think, is the hottest Bond girl. She's in it for like one second. Her voice is looped. It sounds awful. But uh, you think she's as hotter far than as like pure looks? Pussy galore. I don't know, man. Pussy Plenty galore. Tool. Pussy galore is pretty hot. Pussy galore is pretty uh, hot. Um, Julia Roberts is hotter than Margot Robbie. No. And I mean, like both Sound of Music era and like now. Do you? Is your type like? Okay, I think I'm getting hold of women? Like yeah. what your pre- preferences are. What would that be, Joe? No, it's not that. I just think you like. I think you like them more like girly and small. Yeah, and I like Margot I like Robbie pre- is like sharp angles. Yeah, she's yeah, she's like Lady Gaga <laughs> or like David Bowie. She's just yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like him a little more petite. What can I say? Yeah. I'm a pedophile. What I mean, I, what else I mean, can Margaret I say? <laughs> now hold on a minute. Yeah, that's a good that's a good uh, drop right there. You can steal that one. <laughs> well, it's coming from your mouth. So I yeah, guess it's I know, fine. I know. Yeah. yeah, yeah someone yeah. clip that anyway. So, uh, so oh, Timo did a a friend of mine. Uh, did like a that's a nickname did a costume anyway. fitting for like a really famous actress. Yeah, it's true. It's not his name. Um, <laughs> and, um, oh, like, and then we also saw the costume that Margot Robbie wore in some movie. It was, like, on display somewhere. Uh, tiny people. Teeny fucking tiny people. Um, I'll have to tell you who the actress was later, but, like, so small. It's like, it's, like, insane. Um, you can't, like, when you're looking at them on the screen, they look like a normal-sized human being. And then what do you actually see, like, how big these people are or how small these people are? It's it's pretty crazy. Yeah, with the Especially exception of the, Zendaya, yeah, of course. Yeah, those two famous actions. Well, no, it's because Zendaya has, like, the, the... Yeah, she's pretty tall, isn't she? Yeah, she's, like, our height. I thought she was, I thought she was short. Like, I just assumed Zendaya has the physiology of a cheese wheel. She's, like, <laughs> short and round and fucking wide, like... No, she's, like, uh, she's, like, 5'9". Or five oh, ten. Jesus she's, Christ. she's taller than Tom Wide. Holland. Yeah, she's like freakishly skinny. I don't know what you're talking about. Aren't most people? Aren't most people? No, it's just her. Zendaya face is five ten. Oh, she's taller than us. Holy shit! It's her forehead. That's what a bad. freak! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, plenty of tool. Eva Green. Uh, I would put a second place in the Bond girls. Behind who? Uh, uh, as far as like Olga. what like turns me on. 
Uh, behind Plenty O'Toole, Lana would. Eva Green. As far as also, like just visually attractive to me, Eva Green looks like shit now. Holy, f- what the fuck? I've I've also brought her up before, but Famke Jensen and Goldfinger is fucking like. Oh much. yeah, Eva Green. Uh, that she's, looks she's, she's awful. Oh, oh, I forgot about Famke <laughs> for for one second. Oh, is she the one from? Uh, is she the one from the first? What is the... she the one from? Uh, she's casino? corn. Uh, she's a uh... cornhole. Casino, yeah, yeah, casino. She's hot in casino. I'll give you that. She's pretty hot in casino. But now, uh, I don't know what's going on with that forehead. But well, that's, that's what we're talking about. <laughs> that's a god damn. That thing is all right. Salma Hayek is hotter than Margot Robbie. I can understand Selma Hayek being considered hotter than Margot Robbie. Uh, Selma Hayek has a womanly figure. I, that's yeah. odd coming from you, A4. Yeah. Why she's is like, that? Well, because she's post-puberty, you know? So It's just a little weird. Man, yeah. Little she's strange. hot. At, she's, like, she's, like, she's like 50 right now, and she's hot. Yeah, that's because they're actresses. They're fake. They're not real. It's all that adrenochrome. It's because she's not white. That, too. Yeah, she's not white, and she's she has a teen in her name. In her we white age people or don't beyond. age well. What yeah. does that mean? What does that even approach meaning? It's a, it, either the the age has to have a teen or something, or, or if it's a teen or beyond, it's just uh, she's like Meh. you just look at it and it's like oh that's a pier, that's a that's like a, <laughs> it's a Florence that's pier, a Florence pier. pier. It's like a it's like a Scottish fucking like disgust sound. Fucking pee. That's the sound Merida makes in that whole movie. <laughs> yeah. Pee. I gotta say, I was. No one told me I would see as much nudity in Oppenheimer as I did see. I um, read something saying there's a shitload. Nudity, no. Dark. There's three scenes of full nudity. Does he fuck full the bomb? Nudity. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Do you see the bomb's pussy? No, he fucks. He fucks Florence Pugh. I'm not asking so, that. I'm asking if he fucks the bomb. Um, or does he? Oh, does the bomb do the all bomb. the fucking? Or oh does wait, I bomb... shouldn't tell you. It's spoiler. Or does the like, bomb? We know, we know the bo- we know the bomb fucks Japan. But, <laughs> yeah. like... <laughs> but does the bomb get fucked? That's the thing. We know it fucks, but does it get fucked by whatever that guy's name is? Who? <laughs> It's the title of the movie. Oppenheimer, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I was supposed to mean the actor. Not the fucking guy. Oh, Cillian Murphy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does he fuck the bomb or not? (laughs) (laughs) When he comes, he just goes, So that movie... That movie is also a very interesting movie because it... um, First, it's very well-made beautifully made honestly it's there's a lot of characters there's there's a lot of real people that it's based on obviously and there's like three different like timelines and it's kind of like the social network where it's like two different it's exactly like the social network where it's talking about the events and then it also has like one trial and then another trial and it's like cutting back and forth between the three of them uh in time and you're not quite sure at the beginning of the movie like where you're at all the time and then of course it like at the end of the movie like things start to the linearity of the actual story starts to manifest itself um but that that one was like on the moral side of things where it was like exploring issues having to do with like just making the bomb making an h bomb instead of a instead of an atom or instead of the bomb ended, ended up doing um and uh stands for night actually Come dropping down. it on japan and and all these like people and the the power structures at play and 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 all this uh, intrigue and um, the politics at the time that it's exploring that was also like a really interesting movie and really well made and one of Nolan's best movies for sure. I need to watch it again to see if it's a masterpiece or not. I gotta watch it again because I was I like I stepped away from it and I was like that was really good, but I need to know. I think I need to watch it again to to fully kind of like grasp um all the layers in it you know Um, what because it's quite a complex movie i should watch oppenheimer because he's technically the guy that created anime 
Because if he didn't bomb Japan, they never would have been so irradiated to create shit like that. So, technically, that guy is the godfather of Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, that's his legacy. <laughs> yes. Regardless of what Christopher uh, Nolan I says. I love that joke. <laughs> what about a joke, Joe? I'm sorry. I, I didn't... So I, I just, I don't love that joke. I didn't love it. I think it uh, trivializes the death of like 200,000 people a little too much. I'm not okay. trivializing it. I'm finding a silver lining. Yeah, he got his greatest thing. He wouldn't have be, he right. wouldn't be the pedophile any, while, while he is while we're here, today you got it. if it weren't for that fuck? bomb. You got any good, <laughs> you got any good like Holocaust jokes before we leave or what? Um, uh, I could use a good Holocaust joke or, or perhaps, um, yeah, a good Holocaust joke, Holocaust denier jokes, of course, uh, are up in the air for that. Uh, maybe like, um, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Like a Rwandan genocide joke, possibly something a little bit more current. <laughs> Dr. Roxo in the chat said good questions tonight. <laughs> yeah. Rwandan genocide. Oh, they did it to themselves. Uh, Hotel Rwanda is my favorite comedy. I'll just put that out there. Yeah, I mean the Rwandans did technically do it. Okay, well we got a question from. Yeah, it was two different uh, tribes. Um, uh, Frost says, um, "How fucking stupid are the morons at Fox News for complaining that Xbox will now power down instead of sleep mode by default? Or is this the time to stand for and fight for our freedoms? First, they came for my Xbox. Dot dot dot. Well." So my response to this That's would be, question. my response to this would be, um, you got to decide whether you're going to critique them for reacting to Microsoft doing it or Microsoft itself. So the reason why they did it was for, uh, was for their own like carbon desires or whatever. So, it's it's one of those things. It's kind of like when a company asks if you want to donate round up to the next dollar for charity on their behalf, to which my response is always, fuck, fuck you. Why would I give you more of my money for you to donate to charity for you to write off on your taxes? That's retarded. So Microsoft bragged about the fact that they were doing this update, and the reason why was to reduce their carbon footprint. But not on their time, on their terms, but it's on yours. So they want you to turn your Xbox off. They want to be able to turn your thing off for them to feel better about it. So it's, you know, is the reaction retarded? Kind of. But the thing, the idea of it was to pat themselves on the back and be like, hey, look how cool we are. We're going we're gonna to combat climate change by turning your Xbox off for you. It's like, well, wasn't um... that's what they said. What? And see, PlayStation does the same thing. <laughs> But PlayStation isn't gra- bragging about the fact that it's for their climate, uh, their climate goals or whatever. Yeah, they're just bragging. They're like, they "Look, care. we made we made all these women way uglier in these games, and that's going to help the climate change." Yeah, exactly. By uh, producing less polygons for their face, I guess. So it is stupid, but when you, it's one of those things where like you. You, you brag about something and then people make fun of you and then it's like, oh, aren't those people making fun of you dumb? And it's like, well, you did it just like jerking yourself off. So I guess they're dumb, but so were you. So isn't isn't Fox News the same people that way back in like 2006 or seven, like we're talking about Mass Effect having full frontal nudity when the sex scenes in that game are like softer than softcore? I don't know. I don't watch news. But, I don't either. I just I remember there was like a big thing where they were like, "Oh my god, your children's video games are going to have tits in them." And it was about like Mass Effect having sex scenes and they're like the most tame sex scenes in any medium ever. Yeah, I don't know. It's all right. We'll just we're just warming up the frog. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's a good way to put it actually. <laughs> but I know that wouldn't that wouldn't yeah, surprise years me. Years ago, but, oh, so mild. <laughs> that, well, I mean that that wouldn't surprise me that that's Fox News's reaction because like everything is so, everything is such a knee jerk reaction these days that like yeah if, if Microsoft is going to brag about like we're going to put this update out that turns your Xbox off then like, well news is slow today so that's something we can complain about because it makes us feel uh, what do you call it, um, like victims I guess. Yeah. I like the if they're trying to take away your ovens, that's like a whole different years, story. The more jaded I am. Yeah. 
I don't know. I don't watch the news. Schweiss, would you rather suffer the ninjas from Parasite Eve 2 or suffer the tunes for Tots a guy again? Tottle Tunes says Uncle Slam was pretty bad. What and is Tottle was, Tunes? That's a it's a terrible ass wipe on Twitter that has a total bullshit company that he runs where it's basically like instruments for little children, but like the pictures I saw, it was like they had like a baby on their lap and they were playing music. And I'm like, well, what kind of fucking retard pays for this thing? And then I looked and I was like, oh, of course. Of course. They're this from California. Like, so they're insufferable and their business is a joke. This isn't the, this isn't the one of the people in the Engage community, is it? I don't know. It's not. It's, it's someone at my old work that I oh, had okay, to interact okay. with numerous times. And I was like, I was really like really angry at them, like freakishly angry, like coming up with a way to go out there and like take them out angry and be like, well, if I just take cash and I take my roommate's car and then I, <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute. I can't do that. I got to take someone else's car. Cause he lives here. Like it was, it was a bad experience and it was a recurring thing. And they were like, the 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 lack of reason was insane with this person. Like you couldn't talk to him at all. It was just outrage, and like pure anger. It was crazy. Um, so probably the ninjas, I guess, because the ninjas <laughs> it's only for a few minutes. I I was gonna say I, I don't think I remember this Toddle Tunes thing. I, the the person I remember you having more of a problem with is like the HOA manager in your old neighborhood or whatever. Oh yeah, yeah, that was They like made bad. made a fake fucking Facebook page to make you look bad. Yeah, whenever I need to send like keep like write down a note at work, I just send a message, messenger message to that profile. <laughs> like whatever it is. It's like <laughs> uh 230 truck came in with this and this on it and I just send it to not me. You know, and it never gets read, so he doesn't use it anymore, sadly. It's fucking but, funny. But yeah, it's just like a little notepad on my phone for me now. <laughs> Going to send this to Nega Caleb. Yeah, yeah. Aeon Lucas Seven says, "Not a question, but a statement. You guys need to do Octopath and Triangle Strategy." Um, sorry. Nah. But no. uh, triangle Strategy. That name is extremely uninteresting to me. I'll say that. So, my favorite thing about that company is they'll be like. Project Octopath Traveler, working title, and then the game comes out. Octopath Traveler. <laughs> yeah. and then it's like Project Triangle Strategy, working title, and then the game comes out. Triangle Strategy, and it's like, okay, yeah, you're gonna give any of these games like a real name at some point, or like, no, they 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 created a game called Various Day Life, and it's oh, not yeah. The Sims, so I don't understand. <laughs> what they're doing over there <laughs> like that's this that name is like it blows me away every time i remember that it's real it's like I, oh, yeah, yeah you ever played various day life <laughs> like what that's almost a kingdom hearts title it's just mind-bogglingly <laughs> stupid like I, yeah it's like day life but it's, somehow, uh, it's a variety it's somehow worse like it's real words it's real words but it's somehow worse than 365 over two days or whatever the fuck yeah, it's somehow worse than that. Well, because it it's is, it's yeah. like they're words, so but they don't go together. Various, <laughs> various day life. Yeah, uh, I can't wait till the next what Nintendo the Direct fuck? where they're like introducing Project Active Time Battle Turn Based RPG Working Title. Yeah, it's crazy to me. Like, uh, I can't believe they came out with the game that that that's the name. Like, it just blows me away. I can't. I can't. I can't, man. So, yeah, I thought I thought those were already jiggle on your physics, list, and I think this should be our last questions. Whose list? What are you talking about? I thought Octopath and Triangle Strategy were on the Ultima list. Nope. So I was about to come back with them, and it's like, yeah, guys, you all seem to play Chrono Trigger at some point. Just reminding you. Uh, but apparently, I was wrong, so it's fine. Yeah. Jizzle, jiggle physics, ask jizzle physics. Jizzle, jizzle physics. physics, yeah. Well, you know, I really Doing wanted to call. Fight. I really wanted to call this episode Mister Feminist Joe, but Jizzle Physics might be the name. Yeah, I need those Jizzle. Who would physics. win in a fight, the Mormons or the Amish? Oh, the fucking 
Um, I don't know. Can you guys kill? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We can kill and we have a yeah, lot of money. We can say we. Yeah, we. Yeah. yeah. Look, I don't have a lot of money, Mormon, a lot of influence. To... We can kill. Uh, we got the Utah National Guard. Fuck. We, we can kill. We can make you make your alcoholic have you seen, drinks. Have you heard Governor curtain? Herbert talk? I don't know, man. The Amish are allowed to have sex. I feel like they'd be He's more insane, like. man. I feel like they'd be more virile because of that. No, dude. The Mormons, there's way more. They're the, they, they, they have a lot of sex, and they have a lot of kids. So their like, reproduction rate dwarfs the Amish. I'm not even talking about the reproduction rate. I'm just there talking about getting their dick There are more Mormons than there are Jews. That's wild, actually. Yeah. <laughs> That's a, a fact. Lot. There's a lot. It's the fa- yeah. I think it's the fastest growing religion. I'm pretty sure. It's not the biggest, but it's yep. They spread their tentacles far and wide, and I bet you, I bet you, there's some Amish G- or Amish, uh, sorry, Amish Mormons out there. Oh yeah, they're gonna be torn when the fucking war starts. They're, they're not gonna know who to. Yeah, fight each for. side is gonna put them in. Camps. There are some, like if you wanna, if you wanna go like Orthodox Mormons versus, uh, versus Amish. Now that that would be a contest. I do think the Amish would probably do it because the Amish have uh, probably an equal amount of men and women fighting for them instead of like three dudes and then like 12 chicks uh, in the fight. So, you know, keep that in mind. Yeah, I guess the Mormons would win. I don't know. I've only ever met Amish people and they're very polite. I mean, you've never met a Mormon person. Well, like not a, not like officially. I don't think anyway. They yeah. weren't like they weren't like yeah, beating down us. my door. I mean, I've I've probably met a Mormon person. I just didn't know because they never brought it up. It's not like a vegan thing where they have to tell you like the first thing they say to you. Yeah, that's true. That is true. So I, maybe I did, but I wouldn't know. Maybe I've been tricked. Your wife is Mormon. All right. Oh shit. No, I mean her dad was Jehovah's Witness. It's not the same thing, but like it's. You know. It's it's worse. Oh honestly. no, that's crazy. Jehovah's Witness is way worse. Yeah, yeah, I know. Those I'm people are strange. Yeah, I know. I'm like aware. like the Mormons look at Jehovah's Witnesses like, what the heck are you guys doing? Yeah, what the heck? What the heck are man? you guys freaking doing? You telling me that two hundred thousand people get in and then you want me to join? What? No. Yeah. What? The Why would odds. I join a church where it, it tells me that like, oh, we know who's getting in? Like, why am I even there? Yeah. You want to know. You want to know if you're worthy. But they don't tell you. It's just, it's predetermined. That's half the fun. It's like, fuck, man. The longer this goes on, the less and less likely I am to be one of those people. It's, well, why also, do people play I've read the, the Bible? I've read the Bible, and I don't remember the part where it's like, just so you know, said Jesus, only 200,000 of you guys are getting in. That's why, well, so, uh... that's why, the, that's why the Jews killed them. Because they're like, nah, I don't fucking yeah. think so. Jesus, like, I mean, Jesus probably said like, something that's like, "That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard." Yeah. He's like, Jesus, "Well, there's limited real estate in heaven." Well, say that's what Jesus. I mean. Like, Jesus yeah, probably like... put put it out before, like, "Yeah, everyone's getting in." And then he, like, you know, they did some measurements, and they they only had so much development room, and they were like, yeah. "Actually, the zoning laws and." And... <laughs> and it came to pass that Peter wrote an epistle uh, unto the Romans, saying, "Just so you know, guys." Only 200,000 of you are getting in. The rest of you pagans will rot in hell. Yeah. And somehow, Peter was then crucified as well. Yeah. Uh, oh, but only after he dropped a million little booklets and, for his and new church all over And town. lo, Peter sent a letter to the Corinthians saying, do you know how fucking expensive real estate is up here? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. See the Mormons, they got God's got his own planet for them. So, just sounds like Scientology. They got a lot of real estate. Yeah, you can you and and you when you like ascend fully, you become a god basically. So kind of that's fucking that's horseshit. Yeah, but (laughs) (laughs) I didn't mean it like that. I mean like, well, okay. And then A four was struck by lightning. Yeah. Yeah, really. And then, and then A4's street. door was knocked upon daily for the rest of his days. I don't think I've ever I don't think I've ever had the 
the Mormons come to my door. I think I'm too far east. Yeah. Now, I have seen the black Israelites yeah. when I lived in Philly. That was wild, but that's a whole other thing. Yeah, what about them versus the Amish? <laughs> oh, they're winning. Are you kidding? <laughs> yeah. they're, they're packing heat. Yeah. They're the reason why the Amish are the Amish. That's the real truth. They, stole <laughs> they, sold, the they went into the city and they saw the black Israelites. And they're like, actually, fuck all this technology stuff. I'm going to go churn butter for the rest of my life. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to go light an oil lamp and not get <laughs> shot. Yeah. Uh, yeah. True story. Get shot origin. by one crazy white dude. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's, that's true. That's true. Yeah, Mormons are more preppers. Yeah, there's un- a lot of preppers. A lot of preppers with the Mormons. Where's the, like, the... Yeah, Is preppers going to be the name of your next fucking here, restaurant? Dude. Yeah. No, and, like, the Amish, what do they What do they even have to prep? Butter? Like you said, like, what? <laughs> Preserves? I don't know. Yeah, like, they're, 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 they're precious cans of peaches, peach halves that they, that they crafted themselves. Like, when I lived out there, you know, the Amish were cool and all, but... I mean, I just like that they paid me to work. That was that was awesome. The little kid. Yeah. Yeah. I don't have a problem with the Amish except for when their horses and buggies are getting in my way, breathing my air. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking. I remember when they they didn't have lights, and I was like, man, this is weird. They're like lighting up their their little lanterns. And I'm like, hmm. Yeah. I always I always do feel bad though when there's like one guy like going up a hill on like a bicycle and there's no like side lane because it's the back roads and so like you have like four or five cars waiting to go around him because they don't want to like they're getting to the top of the hill so you can't see if any traffic's coming and I just have to blow by him while blasting like Slayer or something and it's just like you can probably hear from outside my car like no problem I'm just like yeah I guess I'm a huge asshole but whatever yeah I mean you know that's that's how they choose to live yeah pretty much. Oh. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, fuck. That's the last question. I, I don't have anything else to say. I can, only, I can only go so far with the Amish and the Mormons. But easy win. Easy W. I'll for load Joseph up. Smith. Um, I'll load up a Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator and uh, just put like, you know, 2,000 Amish versus 2,000 <laughs> yeah. Mormons and see who wins. Yeah. Uh, that would be awesome if we could. Is, is that like a thing? What is that? I, I, some you could probably mod that in. I don't know if any like I know they've made like mods for that. Like so you can have more than just like oh one Chuck Norris versus a hundred T Rexes. But like uh, I don't know. I'll look into it. Maybe we'll get a definitive answer whether the Mormons or the Amish would win. Yeah, we'll watch. I don't like know a, what their stats would be. Yeah, we'll live stream like a uh, us watching it and commentating over the battle. You know, <laughs> with like the little drawing on the screen, like it's a football game. Yeah, like see, so you're coming over here, and they're they're leading them here to the hot gates where their numbers count for nothing. Now you don't want to get stuck in there if you're the Amish because your horses and buggies are going to get stuck between the rocks. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately they're fucking the, idiots, the, so that's exactly. And what the they Mormons, do. the Mormons with their shields, they're creating what is called a phalanx. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, the the shields actually made out of pure fucking gold, and uh, that's what they put on there. <laughs> The top of their temples with the little dude blowing the horn. Yeah, that's made out of fucking gold. So if you ever get one of those. Go and and they have got enough power points to summon their hero character, Joseph Smith, who is now entering the battlefield. <laughs> yeah, they got like, they got like summon bosses. Like, uh, it's, yeah, it's like Star Wars Battlefront in. where it's like every once in a while it's like, oh, I get to play as Darth Maul. Sweet. <laughs> yeah, sick. I get Joseph Smith. <laughs> I don't even know who the fuck the, the Amish the, went summon. The Amish, no, they they summon like, like William Penn. Yeah, they summon like villagers from the from the town of Nauvoo, and it's like, oh fuck. Yeah. The what? Uh, they, <laughs> the they, 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 of... they tarred and feathered and then shot <laughs> yeah, Joseph just, Smith in the too head. Much. <laughs> too much local lore. They they killed him. Yeah. <laughs> they killed him for sleeping with all their yeah, teenage. Too talkers. much Mormon lore. You're gonna lose him. Yeah. 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 Oh, not them. Oh, fuck. You might as well be describing the plot of a Kingdom Hearts game to me. Yeah, that'd be a wild one. See, he was already. See, Joseph Smith was already half Xehanort. So, uh. Yeah, the real one would be like the summon battle between them and like, uh. And the fucking, uh. Oh, Tom Cruise. What are they? The, Scientologists? Yeah, the Scientologists. They summon fucking Hubbard or whatever. <laughs> like, Z- or Xenu. Yeah, yeah, Xenu. 
I'm pretty sure they'd win. But <sighs> there you have it. So next time, next time we'll all watch Resident <laughs> Evil, right? <laughs> The end of this episode of After Dark is like we just had the most disappointing orgasm of all time. We're just turning over in the covers and going to bed. Yeah, like, man, I should have just went to sleep before I had sex. <laughs> like, did you get flaccid before you came? What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was tired. But... Yeah, thanks for hanging out, guys. I uh, appreciate your time. Um, hopefully, A4 will watch seven Resident Evil movies before next time so that he can I'm watch gonna front the load them too. all so that I don't have to watch the others later yeah just do all of them there's what like two more I think after this like, something like that yeah it's like I don't know what the next one's even called but that final chapter I know is the last one I think it's retribution yeah all the names I had to look the up the order when I got them all I was like all right I gotta I, like what order do I watch these in yeah so stay tuned for that next week, guys, or whenever I decide to, you know, put it out. Uh, appreciate you hanging out with us. Check out Ultima Final Fantasy. We're going to have a super sexy swing and fan fiction released on there, uh, multiples, and then also a big, chunky review of Final Fantasy 16. We are going to be recording that Friday, July, whatever, 28th, 29th, whatever it is. So stay tuned for that. And we appreciate you guys hanging out. Till next time, live always in the nude. Walk with your. Uh... Fuck I... off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>